So last night, Donald Trump held a town hall in Scranton, Pennsylvania, where he admitted for the first time publicly that he would be afraid to face off against Bernie Sanders in the general election. Now, this is something that we've known for a few weeks or a few months at this point. Uh, you know, time moves by so quickly now in politics that it's hard to keep track of when certain things happened. But we found this out through the Lev Parnas recording. Donald Trump admitted privately that had Hillary Clinton chosen Bernie Sanders in 2016 as her running mate, he thinks he would have had a more difficult time beating her. Now, this is true. If Bernie Sanders were the Democratic nominee or the VP, Bernie would have won. No one knew who Tim Kaine was. The only reason people know who Tim Kaine is now is because Hillary Clinton chose, her, uh, chose him as the VP. People still don't know who Tim Kaine is, and now Bernie Sanders is close to being a household name. But I digress. Let's take a look at uh, this clip of Trump on Fox talking about Bernie Sanders and how he feels about running against him in the general election. So you want to face Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders? That's my question. I'll tell you, I was all set for Bernie because I thought it was going to happen. It, you know, we get ready for things, right? So mentally, I'm all set for Bernie. Communist, I had everything down. He's a communist. <laughs> I was all set. And then we have this crazy thing that happened, right? On Tuesday, which he thought was Thursday. <laughs> but he also said, 150 million people were killed with guns, and he was running for the United States Senate. Support me, I'm running for the United States. There's something going on there. But I was all set. I was all set. And, you know, when I focus, and we all focus, sometimes you do well, and some people choke. I watched Minnie Mike choke. When Minnie Mike was hit by a very mean woman, he said, get me off this stage, just get me off. And, and that wasn't a pretty sight to be what, but, but I was all set to take on Bernie. I was ready. And then all of a sudden I say, guess what? I went to the first lady who people love. They, I go into the first lady. And I said, I said, he just won Texas. He just won, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And by the way, so close. It was a whole different thing because of her. So now I'm ready for Bernie. And now all of a sudden I have a whole different, you know, it's a whole different deal. Two very different people. I think in a certain way, Bernie would be tougher because he's got a base. It's a much smaller base than my base. I think a lot of my people are here because, and I did nothing to do that, but we have a lot of support in Pennsylvania. And I think we have a lot of support everywhere. Look at the rallies. Look at the rallies. But I was all set. I was all set for Bernie. I was ready to go. And then I say, you know, I don't think I'm running against Bernie. I think it's going to be very hard for him to come back. So first off, I want to start by saying that I think it's hilarious Donald Trump thinks that communism is the thing that would have brought Bernie Sanders down, as if Bernie Sanders doesn't already use socialist in the word that he uses to describe himself or the phrase that he uses, democratic socialist, as if communism would be the thing that that makes voters take a pause and say, hmm, I'm not going to vote for this guy. He would have swatted those insults away like that. He would have swatted those smears away. Now, the second thing is that Donald Trump gives you a preview in what it would be like if he runs against Joe Biden. Now, in my personal opinion, Joe Biden would get destroyed by Donald Trump for the reasons that he mentions there. Joe Biden, unfortunately, is in cognitive decline. Everyone sees it. Look at any video of Joe Biden today, compare it to Joe Biden four or eight years ago, and you'll see that where he is now mentally is not where he was four or eight years ago. That's just a fact at this point. Donald Trump would run any ads of Joe Biden speaking in the last week or the last month where he's referring to Super Tuesday as Super Thursday, referring to himself as running for the Senate as opposed to running for the presidency. He'll show a clip of Joe Biden mixing up his sister and his wife. Now, this is going to be significantly damaging for Joe Biden and the Democratic Party if Joe Biden is the nominee. We have a chance to stop that from happening. We have Bernie Sanders, someone who Donald Trump is admittedly afraid to run against, in the primary. We can still vote this guy in and it's not too late. Bernie Sanders would destroy Donald Trump. And this isn't the Pied Piper strategy. This isn't 
Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump in 2016, where Hillary Clinton is like, oh no, we'd be so afraid to run against Donald Trump so you get that candidate. This isn't what's happening because Donald Trump already admitted to privately that he'd be afraid to run against Bernie Sanders. He's admitted to it publicly because Donald Trump sometimes actually is a straight shooter when he wants to be. He's admitting to the thing that he said in private, and it's true. If Bernie Sanders goes against Donald Trump, Donald Trump would lose. He would get destroyed. And it wouldn't be easy, though. We'd have to organize and we have to fight. Just like we have to organize and we have to fight now. Because we're essentially tied in delegates right now. You know, things may seem a little bleak. Joe Biden's up. We didn't do so well on Super Tuesday, but it's not over. It's not over until it's over. So we need to keep on organizing and keep on fighting because it's not done until the last delegate is counted. So keep on fighting, keep on phone banking, keep on telling your family and friends, and post videos of Joe Biden's record, you know, him voting on NAFTA, him voting uh, for these terrible trade deals, his treatment of Anita Hill, his support of segregationists, his cognitive decline, post all of that on Facebook because we got to get the older voters to see his record. A lot of people are voting for Joe Biden on name brand only, but we have to inform the voters and show them that there's an alternative out there that's not Joe Biden. Make sure you are subscribed to join the political revolution of independent media against mainstream media and keep up to date with news that you won't hear on CBS, ABC, or MSNBC. Leave a comment about your thoughts of Joe Biden facing off against Donald Trump or Bernie Sanders facing off against Donald Trump, and uh, we'll see you next time.